Hey guys, my name is Philip, and today I'm just going to show you how to take a number of images that you take with a camera. You take those images on a, on a regular camera, not on a mobile device, put them onto your computer, and then put them onto Google Drive. And after you do that, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to put them on Instagram while also using a large number of relevant tags. And after you take care of that first step of putting them onto Google Drive, everything else is going to be done from your mobile device. Okay? So there's a couple different things you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need the Google Drive app on your phone. And number two, you're going to need the Tags for Like app on your phone. And I'll show you precisely what both of those are right now. Alright? So, number one, you're going to need the Google Drive app, which looks identical to this. It's on both Android and iOS, so you shouldn't have any problem finding it. All right, and then next, you're going to need the Tags for Like app. All right, so before you start this process, have an idea of the picture that you're going to upload and, and its relevant, you know, relevant hashtags. So then you're going to go to Tags for Likes, all right, and as you can see, there's a, a Hold on one second. There's a, a large number of different categories that already have a, a large number of relevant tags in each category. So you'll just pick a category. The category that I'm doing is fashion. So we, we will go down to fashion. And it's, it's for a girl's clothing line. So again, we'll go to fashion and, it's, and we'll choose girls. All right. So fashion and girls, and all it does is it comes up with this list of hashtags up here, and go ahead and hit copy tags. All right. So once you hit that, and that little message comes up, your tags have been copied. So go back to the home page. All right, and then go to your Google Drive app. All right, and select. Here, I'll take you back to the home page. This is my Google Drive home page. So go to wherever your images are stored, and in this case, mine are stored in Instagram pics, alright? Pick a picture, we'll just pick this one at random, and then you go up here in the top right hand corner with this circle with the eye, click on that, and I'm not, I'm not exactly sure if the uh, Google Drive app for Android and iOS are identical, but I'm sure they should be relatively similar. So this, this particular this is on an Android, so I, I would imagine that the app is almost identical, if not identical. But, so anyway, and then after you click on the circle with the eye, you click on this button right here. It's three squares and a vertical line. Alright, and you hit send. Whoops. And you hit send. Excuse me. Alright, and then it'll begin to download the image onto your device. Alright. And once it's done downloading, it'll bring up a list of different apps that are already on your phone that you can send the image to. For instance, uh, Dropbox right here would probably be one of your favorite. Google Drive, so you could technically send it to another Google Drive, although you could also just email it, so I don't see the purpose in that. But uh, also Facebook, Google+, etc., etc., et a whole bunch of different apps. For this purpose, we want to choose Instagram. All right, and we'll hit just once in this specific case. Oh, what happened? All right, so we go to we go to send. Sorry, I don't know. Okay, there we go. And then we hit Instagram, and we'll hit just once down here at the bottom. So now it's taking us to the Instagram. So you crop your picture, however you want to crop it. For this purpose, we'll just leave it and go ahead and go to the next the next page. Apply whatever filter or whatever effects you'd like to to the image. All right. And then uh, click the little green arrow again. Add your caption. And if you already went in and copied the tags from Tags for Like, all you need to do is when, for the caption is paste. And you can only have 30 hashtags on Instagram. So you might want to modify the tags that Tags for Likes gives you, uh, depending on precisely what your image is. I always recommend going through and looking at the tags to make sure that they're all accurate. Um, 
And so, you know, and also you can come up with a couple of your own before you even do that. Um, so, anyway, go ahead and copy and paste those bad boys in. And, you know, if you've got your share options, if you'd like to share that to somewhere else as well. And then click the green button again. So now it is, now it's done. We'll give it a few seconds and just wait. Um, it's, it's almost guaranteed to get a number of traffic. I actually tested that out earlier today before I did this video. Oh, there's, there's our first one right there. And I literally, in like the period of an hour, I got 72 likes on one photo, which is kind of ridiculous. There's another one. There's, there's at least two. We'll go ahead and check on that right now. Oh, yeah, way more than two. Look at that. Starts here, goes all the way up. So that's two, four, five, six. And, you know, it's, you, you're, your likes aren't going to come in like that for two or three or four or five hours, most likely. I mean, if, I, I'm not exactly sure how the Instagram algorithms work. So if you get a large number of likes, it may actually boost you up in the feed. But basically, once you get far enough down into that feed, the likes will begin to wane, except for individuals who specifically search for uh, images with the hashtag of your picture and, and go through it a little bit. But anyway, let's refresh it one more time and just see what's going on now. Yeah, so see what I mean? You know, you haven't, we haven't gotten any more likes in the last 30 seconds or so, but that's just an example. Um, and guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll have a link in the description below as well for how to upload images to your Google Drive on the computer. And I'll also place an annotation for that right here in the top right hand corner. Guys, you take care and I will see you soon.